Hello there everyone, it's Xanral. In this video we're going to be checking out Gadget Maker's Nether Hub, which is right up there, and his multi-farm, which includes his gold farm, his guardian farm, and his iron farm. So I had joined in January of 2017, and this uh, this place was made before my time, so I don't know everything about it. But I have learned a few things from the first player that showed me this place. Uh, Vister is a former moderator. No, she was a helper. Yeah, help, former helper plus. But it is essentially a moderator, just without creative. And uh, I guess we're going to get started here. Uh, the way you got to it was you warped to old spawn. Uh, if this was 2016, this would have been the spawn used back in the day. So you would just go to spawn, and you would go up uh, past the savannah, uh, up a little staircase, and into the hub. The way I normally went was not the official way, but uh, if we head northeast a little bit... Yeah, there's a portal right here. I would always take this way, but we're going to go the more official way. That's going to take us where we're really supposed to be going. Well, it all starts here. The nether hub. And this is the start of it. So these stations are pretty common throughout the hub. Uh, these should have... Uh, the dispenser in here should have a minecart. But it's empty because of constant use. But the way you would use this is you step on the pressure plate, the minecart dispenses, you get in very quickly, and you'll be on your way. After this bend, I'm going to keep going straight, and I will arrive at an intersection. I will get back to you then. Alright, so after a few hundred blocks or so, we arrive at the main intersection for this hub. Uh, to the left uh, is going to be the spider farm and uh, iron farm, as you can see. Uh, to the right, there's nothing really over there, really. I don't know what Gadget was thinking. And then the public waste farm is straight ahead, which is where we're going to head to next. Alright, well here we are. I used to take a lot of players that usually new players that wanted to come here for blaze rods or I would see in public chat like does anyone have blaze rods I would always take them here it wasn't the best public blaze farm at the time but the direction to uh, the directions to it were pretty easy and it was free it was public so the way this works is uh, you press this button here to turn, uh, turn the lava off, and it will start spawning blazes. And then after that, the blazes will start spawning, and then they will roam into this kill box. Uh, after that, you step on this pressure plate to activate the crusher. You swipe at their legs, or you swipe at them after the crusher is done, and all your blaze rods are dispensed here, right into your inventory. All right, moving swiftly on. You could go this way for the iron farm and the spider farm, but we're actually going to go back to the intersection. And then I'm going to take a right. Gold grinder. The public spider farm should be to our left. Yeah, here it is. 
So whenever I first came to this place, the spider spawn was broken. And the hoppers, I believe, that was supposed to collect all the drops for the uh, the grinder were destroyed, as you can see. And as you can tell, I've been here before. Uh, I replaced the spawner up there, sort of fixing the farm, which wasn't there before. The only thing I didn't replace and fix was this little bit here. Like, there should be stone bricks here. There should be hoppers here. And then all of the drops are picked up by the hoppers and put into this chest. So yeah, that's kind of how the farm would work. If this was operational, I would I would definitely refer to uh, I would definitely bring people here, but but the spawner was uh, broken. I don't remember reporting uh, to staff if, if this was griefed or not, but uh, if I did, they probably told me that the grief was too old and they couldn't roll it back at all. Well, roll back the damn thing. In uh, this portal is a public end portal, which isn't actually very useful if you uh, you can just go to spawn and then step on a pressure plate to get you to the end. Don't know why they have a public portal back there. Well, gadget, I mean. Uh, this way is going to be the gold farm, iron farm, and guardian farm, uh, as I like to call it a multi-farm because there's more than one farm there. There's going to be a bend here to the right, and then it's going to take you straight to the nether portal, taking you back to the overworld. Uh, whenever I get there, uh, I will get back to you. Alright, well, we have arrived. Here's the portal to the, the overworld, to the gold grinder in particular. Alright, so here we are at the gold farm. Right up here appears to be a villager breeder. Uh, I don't know what the rest of this is. It's I couldn't really tell you. It's a little too busy on my eyes. Especially when you look down at this. It's just a mess. I can't imagine looking at this without Optifine. And I don't know why Gadget Maker chose to use glass. I don't know at all. Uh, whenever I got the world download for Simplex 1, this was actually closed off, so I couldn't be walking here where I am now. So I opened it up and repaired the carpets around here to what I last remember. So the way this farm works is you get um, a bow or snowballs to throw it at the pigmen, and then the pigmen, all of them, sort of uh, try to follow you here to where this guy actually is. And they all die to entity cramming, and then all of the uh, all of their drops are processed by the system. Uh, you can either set it to you know, dispense it all to you, or store it into these chests. Whenever uh, I was first shown this place by Vsters, a former Helper Plus, None of the pigmen were here, and that was because Meehan had disabled uh, the behavior for pigmen spawning from portals. So this farm was essentially shut down, and it sort of led to its uh, sharp decrease in popularity because everyone came here for the gold, and ever since it was shut down, uh, no one really came here, at least from what I've seen. Uh, there was, of course, the Iron Farm, which is right below me, and the Guardian Farm. But everyone usually came here for the Gold Farm, which was... It must have been so good that people started making their nether portals near the nether hub and wanted to make uh, their base near this place, because it was just that good. Yeah, just look at all the pigmen. 
Think of all the gold that you'd be getting. Over here is just some villagers. Uh, you mostly just want to trade with the clerics, so you trade your uh, rotten flesh that you get from all these pigmen, and then get emeralds bla uh, back. Black. What the heck? English sometimes. Alright, so we're going to be heading down to the iron farm next. Uh, you can take the ladder, but I'm in creative, on, and it's not on the server anymore, so we're just going to drop all the way down. So up on this raised platform is the iron farm. So before uh, 1.14, this iron farm was actually pretty slow, and the farms themselves uh, used that old, uh, the old design of like having a bunch of st uh, doors to spawn in the uh, iron golems. But the collection system, well, how, not the collection system, what the heck am I thinking? The way the iron golems were transported to the center hasn't changed at all. But before 1.14, when I established this as my AFK spot, like right in here, like actually even before Sneaky Kitty took over this place, which I'll get to, uh, I think I had a home set like right here. I think so. Can't remember exactly. But anyway, during one before 1.14, this was slow, and you actually had to AFK here and wait for the iron to build up and then step on, on the pressure plate here and get all your iron. And I the the clock has definitely been upgraded. It was definitely not that fast before. Before 1.14, I mean, the village and pillage update. And the filters back here have been definitely been improved. I wouldn't say this is all new, but it's definitely been upgraded since uh, Gadget first made this place. Well, this place in particular. I believe sometime in 2017, when I was still a low-ranking player, Sneaky Kitty had actually taken over this place. And, no, maybe 2018. I, I'm not sure exactly. But definitely a few years ago, uh, when Sneaky Kitty took over this place, and I guess staff as a whole, uh, they she added this. Kitty's little home. You may use my home too. So you can AFK here. Definitely a godsend. Uh especially when phantoms were added to the game. Thanks, Mojang. The only thing that she really... Well, the only thing that I've really seen her doing is uh, just clearing out all this water around here. This used to be all gravel. The grass was definitely added later, so was the, pl uh, the flowers. And then parts of this, too. I, I did see the progress that she was uh skeleton horses i definitely saw the progress of her draining like over time but they were few and far between and as you can tell she didn't really finish and i don't think that was necessary when 1.14 came around because when it did and all this stuff was upgraded and updated uh the iron farm was actually too good it dispensed, it, it produced so much iron that it actually had to be shut down, but it was later opened back up for whatever reason. And that's about it for the iron farm. If anyone needed iron, I would always take them to this place. And I would really encourage players to just set a home right here on the, uh, the door which is the only place that you could set a home so you can come back here. 
And I feel like I contributed very heavily, as well as Katie and staff, to keeping this place up and running and keeping it popular by updating it and bringing people here constantly. All because people need that iron. Not too much to talk about uh, for the Guardian Farm before 1.14. Uh, before any modifications are made, you can actually come down into this and sort of see where all the guardians dropped down and died. So up there is where the guardians would spawn. And underneath all of these slabs is nothing but hoppers. All of these would lead to the item elevator, and that's where you would collect your drops. Uh, before any modifications were made, all of this was actually just water, so you couldn't turn the farm on and off. But I, I don't know who updated it exactly, but these dispensers were put in with water buckets in here, so you can turn the farm on and off. Most likely for lag reasons. Uh, it actually makes me think if they wanted to turn the guarding farm off so they could uh, improve the lag situation here and just make this a pure public iron farm, since I, I don't know about the popularity of the Guardian farm exactly, but I really don't think it was that popular. I don't think there's anything over here, no. There was a time when this item elevator was actually jammed or broke somehow, and one of the staff had to uh, upgrade it or unjam it or something, and they actually closed this off so you couldn't go down to where the guardians would uh, fall and die onto the hoppers. Uh, the smokers here are definitely new. This is likely for the fish in here. But as you can tell, it's not running. The only thing that has not been updated is the clock that's been used for this. <laughs> it still dispenses as slow as this. Now I believe the, uh, the iron farm up here actually had a clock similar to the one uh, down there. And it was just as slow. It just click, 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 click. But uh, it was warranted since the rate that you well the rate that the iron farm uh, produced iron wasn't that much, so the clock didn't need to be that fast. But with the upgrades, I can definitely say that you would need to upgrade the, uh, the make the clocks faster because it's you know getting more iron, producing more. Well, that is about it for Gadget Maker's Gold, Iron, and Guardian Farm, as well as his Nether Hub. I thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time.